hello 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 my loves welcome back stacy here and we have another unboxing and now we have inked goddess creation box and this is their november box and i believe no that was last month i'm like wait no i was gonna say something and i'm like no that was last month's thing oh magic of the in between i was gonna say in between the veil I don't even think that was there last month. So we have Magic of the In-Between in Twilight's Hush where shadows twirl, a witch walks between the worlds through veils of mist and mystic light between the realms of day and night. With every step, a bridge unfurls, which walks between the worlds. I like that. That's cute. And then oh, that on the back is what's in it. And I'm going to just push it off because it's usually... Like plat out. And I want you guys to be surprised. All right, first thing I see is this votive, and then to me, it's like a gray color. I'm gonna keep it in its plastic, but it's definitely gray. Little votive. I'll put you right there. We oh, yeah, have something in there. And then we have the in between. Tea. We have a blend of rubos, hibiscus, currants, rose hips, elderberries, cranberries, cinnamon, licorice, orange peel, cardamom, anise, cloves, and fruit flavor. That sounds really good. Sounds like fall in a cup. So we have that. And we have this guy right there. Well, we'll do that later. Then it looks like we have an oil. Let's check it out. Oh, hopefully I can open this. Okay, it is open. Just making sure. Oh, so stay tuned, guys, because I do have a special announcement after this, because I probably won't be able to do another video tonight. So we have Flying Witch Oil, and it has apricot, kernel oil, hoo oil catnip mm, catnip i beats i made some of that <laughs> i grew some of that this year um didn't do too good with it i'll try again next year mugwort eo sandalwood eo essential oil jasmine eo and cedarwood eo demonia demonia herbs discontinue use if irritation all right let's get a little sniffy sniff flying witch oil oh it's a roll-on Oh, I can't roll it on me, though, because I won't tell the smell because I have something from Sugar Muses on right now. Ooh, it's a little... First, I thought I smelled peppermint. No, I don't know what I smell. What is in here? Oh, all kinds of stuff, huh? I don't know. Oh, you know why? I'm like, I don't know. I did it on this. That's probably... That wasn't too bright. I'm like, that wasn't too bright. Let's try it on this. Yeah, it's pretty. It's all right. I like that it's a roller bottle. All right, and then next up, we have some mugwort. I don't know why I did that. I'm like, wait, what? What am I smelling? Oh, it's a smudge stick mugwort. Smells oh, pretty. It's funny. I went from not getting any smudge sticks in boxes, and I think that's like the second one in this week I've gotten. Which I'm not complaining because I was running low. So that's cool. Cool, cool stuff. Then we have a selenite, a theme kit. What? Kit. You know what's funny is I was literally looking at a Thames last night. Oh, it's like a peachy color. This is cute. You guys see that? It's like a peachy color. I like it. It's so tiny. And then you would dress it up with your little charm and your ribbon that they gave that's cool i like that they did that so you could do it yourself cute cute little mini one little mini thing oops i'm really shaking guys. sorry about that 
Saudi Saudi. All right, and then I think we have a veil, guys. If I can open it, I will be more than happy to show you guys. It looks really pretty. Oh, it is really pretty. This is gorgeous. Look at the butterflies. Oh my god. Look at that butterfly. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is my dream. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go like that real quick. I know I got everything everywhere, but it's cute. It's perfect to wrap right around your head. Oh, this is gorgeous, guys. I wanna hold it up for you guys to see. Like the flowers have this little like sparkly, and that's like, um, what do you call that? I don't think it's uh, like yarn, like spark, maybe in yarn. Whatever, I'm done talking. You know what I'm trying to say. Maybe you don't. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But this is really pretty. This is beautiful. And the feeling is soft. Like, it doesn't feel itchy or anything. It feels smooth. Like, I'm going like this, and this feels so smooth. Like, it feels so inviting to wrap your head. Oh, this is pretty. I don't have anything like this. So, this is dope. This is so pretty. And it's black and white. It's going to be perfect. Oh, I love this. This was really pretty. So this box I do not subscribe to. I pick my, like if I feel like I'm going to dig the um, theme, that's what I do. And I just, I was like, oh, I like that theme. So if I like the theme, I just get like the one-time box from them. And it's so worth it. This is only a $35 box. And I always think that, I mean... Out of all of them, like all the boxes I received from them, I pretty much liked all of them. So, I mean, there's always that one box you're kind of like, eh, but I, this box, I love this box. And you know, a little dress this guy up. Yeah, definitely not like that, but I was just trying to put them over here so I could put this over here so we can read about it. My little charm, don't get lost. Don't get lost in the sauce. All right. And then we have our eclectic 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 the eclectic witch deck which they actually have folders on their website and i want to um try and get one of those to put all these cards in to keep them you know nice and neat because right now i just have them in a pile and i put them in a mesh bag so every time i get more i just add to it and i gotta kind of sort them out and put like because you get them for all kinds of things so this one is in between practices the term in between can have various meanings, which is use this space to practice their magic and connect with guides, deities, or ancestors. Anyone can connect with the energies in the in between. Many already do these practices daily. Dreams, meditation, or divination are easy ways to open the door to the energies beyond. Doing these practices daily strengthens the connection with your guides, deities, and ancestors, as well as opens up the opens up and strengthens your intuition in between practices dreams meditation astral travel trance spell circle and divination so then you have the pagan veiling centuries ago it was believed that witches power resided in their hair hence the importance of hiding it with a veil as protection today women and men still use head coverings during vari various spiritual practices there are many benefits to adding pagan veiling to your rituals shielding protects the crown chakra during practices focus helps focus your energy during spell work and rituals grounding centers the body's energy deity connection some feel called to doing veiling when working with deities boundaries veiling during spiritual practices creates an in-between energetic state there are some alternatives to using veils such as bandanas scarves hats or beanies it is important to honor yourself and do what you feel comfortable with cool cool then we have witching witchings <laughs> witches flying ointment long ago a witch's flying ointment was used to induce a trance-like state when applied to the body's pulse points the ointment was made from animal fat infused with toxic herbs that would in low doses cause hallucinations 
It made a witch feel like she was flying, sign me up, and was used for astral travel, bringing on vision, shape-shifting, and visiting other realms. Today, there are many herbs that you can use to create a safe alternative ointment used for meditation and trance work. And then gives you all the alternate herbs. And I'll stop shaking my phone for a second so you guys can see. And then, last but not least, we have cutting doorways. Cutting doorways has long been used to gain access to other realms. There are many ways to open doors as you journey into the in-between. It is essential to always have protection in place when doing this work. Casting a protective circle or envisioning a protective bubble are two easy ways. Once you are protected and settled into a quiet space, close your eyes and ground yourself into the earth, then open your doorway. Methods. Draw a door shape with a wand, a theme, or finger. Visualize a door in your mind's eye. Imagine a giant ball of light as a doorway. Once finishing visiting the other realm, be sure to close your doorways. Never leave a door open into the other worlds. Imagine the door, ball, or space sealing back up and closing access to the other plane. That's very important. Very, very important. And they always give you this, so you know... Um, Oh, that's cute. Merry Witch Miss. Thank you for your Inked Goddess Creations box purchase this month. Here is your early access to next month's theme. And it'll be a Merry Witch Miss theme next month. Cute, cute. All right. So let me know what you guys thought of this box. And now, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it, and I knew this box is usually fairly quick. And I really did like this box a lot. It was, honestly, this Inked Goddess box was definitely my favorite one this year. My second favorite was the one where we got the cute little um, skull bottles. We got like a, um, it's actually over there. We got a clear glass one with a cork. And then we got a like drop of one. He was darker. That was my second favorite Inked Goddess, Inked Goddess box. Can I talk? Apparently not. All right. So moving on. We are gonna do number five in the giveaway, girls. So, what we have left is the Pop Love Necklace and the Flora Necklace. And then you can choose from the Inked Goddess set, which has the um, Ritual Kit, the Calendar with Inked Crystals, and the um, Inked Goddess Cauldron. Or you can do the Pendulum, Pendulum, why do I always say that? The Pendulum Kit, and that comes with I believe I got this from Sacred Space Crates. It's like a glass one though. It's not um, it's not a stone, so just know that. But it is pretty, so you can wear it as a necklace or a pendulum. And then also with this, I have the Sodalite pendulum and then the board that goes with it. And I'm gonna put this um, little mini cauldron, which in case, if you wanna see what it looks like, whoever the winner may be, um, and the winner number one video, I showed everything thoroughly, how the necklaces work and all that jazz. Or if you're a beauty gal, I have this big thing and I also showed what was inside of here. So yeah, whoever wins, you're going to pick this one or this one. So you're going to say purple heart or flora necklace, and then you're going to pick one of the bigger items and then the rest will be a surprise from me. All right. So everyone is still in here except for the people that have won. All right, number, what are we doing? Number five, number five, number five. Chris Blake, 4479. All right, Chris, hopefully you're watching. I actually emailed you earlier. So yeah, hit me up and email me and let me know which thing that you would like to pick. And um, if by tomorrow when I get out of work, if Chris already um, hit me up, I might do one more and just do the last necklace and the last thing. The only thing I'm going to say is the last two, Chris Blake and whoever else wins after Chris, your boxes, I'm going to be straight up honest with you, will not be mailed out until the week after Thanksgiving. Just because I already have four before you and I want to make sure I get those out first and I'm going to mail two out next week and two out the week probably of Thanksgiving so I'm just be, being honest with that um 
because I'm actually waiting for something that I ordered from Etsy to come in that I was including in this giveaway. But now that it's not here yet, it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Chris Blake, you are the winner. Congratulations. Hit me up. Let me know. A or B um, or any of those three. Yeah, just let me know in the email. All right. And let me know what you guys thought of this month's Inked Goddess Creations. I love, love this veil. Oh, my God. I, I love it so much. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below and hopefully by Sunday I will be caught up, um, with comments because I've actually been watching other people's videos and catching up on my friends and trying to, you know, so yeah, I, I try to, I try to do a little this and a little that and a little this and a little that, you know what I'm saying? But your girl's tired, so she's going to go get ready for bed. And congratulations to all the winners. And like I said, if Chris Blake hits me up before, um, and I get out of work late tomorrow, so he ain't gonna, he, I'm giving you some time. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably do end up doing six winners. And just remember what I said about the mailing. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Have a great night. Love you all and see you soon. Until then, peace and love. Stay sassy, my friends. Bye.